All right, guys, so we did pull Crunchy Chip Cookie here. I did put him inside of my Hall of Ancient Heroes after leveling up all the way to 30. And now you guys can see that he is going to be level 70. But now I do need to still invest in his skill. But let's look at his skill first, all right? So it is a 15-second cooldown skill. Crunchy Chip Cookie's regular attack leaves the claw mark on the enemy with the highest attack. And then upon using the skill, the cookie charges towards the enemy, slamming them and summoning his Cream Wolf. When Crunchy Chip Cookie is defeated, the Cream Wolf becomes enraged and continues fighting alone. In this state, the Cream Wolf becomes resistant to incapacitating effects. If Crunchy Chip Cookie is revived, he will hop back onto the Cream Wolf. Crunchy Chip Cookie and his wolves are less affected by knockbacks and flying. So, kind of like how, uh, you know, the knockbacks and flying from our Wallberry Cookie, they are going to be resistant to it, okay? So, Tamer. Okay, Tamer is the new buff that he is going to get. Receives 25% of the Summon Creatures buffs. Alright, Summon Creatures buffs. So the leak was not completely wrong. And if he gets Cotton, Pumpkin Pies, and everybody like that, then, man, I don't know. This guy's going to be pretty broken, I would say. And then right here, single hit damage is going to be 88.6% plus 185% of crit. So once again, the leak was kind of true. It is doing 185% of the crit percentage. So if it is 35%, then it's going to do, you know, whatever that is. Okay. And then it says, uh, summon wolves. Okay. He is going to summon two wolves, right? 70% of the attack, 60% of the defense, 85% of HP, 100% of the crit. And then tamed wolf is going to be 102% of the attack, 138% uh, of the defense, 230% of HP, 100% of the crit. I think tamed wolf is going to be his wolf his wolf the one that he's riding on okay so i think that is when he goes on to the enraged mode when uh, crunchy chip cookie dies uh, and then it says claw mark 30 seconds is going to be uh, the duration of the mark activated upon three stacks so he is going to cause a debuff all right so claw mark removes buffs attack speed is reduced by 25 percent for 18 seconds Stacks up to two times, that means 50% attack speed reduction. 217% damaged as well. Like, looking at his skill right now, he seems really crazy. Alright. So, first, let's upgrade this to level 70. 660, guys. I'm running out of charge. I can't even upgrade my Dark Cow. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. Alright, guys. So, now... Tame Wolf damage has increased as well as a single hit damage has increased as well. Okay, so I don't need to level him up though. But I think for now, I'm going to put in Solid Almond. I think that's what I'm going to put in. Solid Almond. All right, 150,000. That's, that's pretty crazy. All right, and that's zero stars as well, guys. That's zero stars. Okay. So he's getting 25% of the 80% here, guys. That's crazy. All right. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you guys do want to play Cookie Run Kingdom or any of the mobile games on an emulator on your PC, you guys can download LD Player, which I am using currently right now and I've been using for almost a year now. You guys could download LD Player and play Cookie Run Kingdom with the link down in the description right now of the video as well as the live stream and you guys are able to use this emulator i did not find any viruses i had no trouble at all except for a couple crashes here and there because you know the game crashes sometimes but besides that i have never had any issue with ld player guys and i will have to say it is pretty much one of the best emulators that i have used as a android emulator all right so here we go let's go here we go all right I love his animation. Look at that. Whoa. Not only is he shooting, he's the wolf is also biting. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Oh. Yo, I love his skill. And you see the mark right there? Wow. Dude. This guy literally just ate through the entire four enemies. How many enemies can he attack? 
All right, here we go. This is going to be the most important thing right here, guys. Let's use this skill. Two wolves are out there. And then the three stacks. This is going to be the third stack here. And then he's going to get damage. And he's also receiving two attack of because of this right here. The seamstress, right? Wow. I love this guy. I mean, just by looking at him, he looks so cool. I'm going to try him out in the dragon. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to go to dark mode right now. We're going to verse this dragon. I'm not using the slingshot here. I'm going to use the pincushion, the scroll, as well as the jelly watch. And let's see if we could beat dark mode with this team. All right. Two level 70s, three level 60s. All right. I am going to put it at full auto. And he is at zero stars. Yes, you have to realize that he is at zero stars. Actually, I don't know if this is going to work out. Just because uh, Cotton... I don't know if Cotton's going to heal enough. Hopefully, she does. Look at the defensive attack up, attack speed up. Dude, this guy's receiving all of the buffs. That's crazy. Look at all the buffs he's receiving. From the Cotton, as well as Pumpkin Pie and Licorice. And the pincushion. That's crazy. Literally zoom out. It's just chipping away at the, uh, at the dragon. Slowly, claw mark. Look, look where he's at. Where are you? Why are you there? What is going on? Look, he's not even taking damage. He's bugged out. The dragon doesn't even attack him. The dragon doesn't attack our country chat. <laughs> what the heck is going on? He's stuck in the side. Yeah, this is still zero stars. Oh my gosh. This guy, yeah, he doesn't even get hit. What is going I think it's because there's so many summoners, he got pushed to the side. Yeah, he got pushed to the side because of all of all of the summoners coming in the front. <laughs> Dang, he does damage too. He does damage too. But I think I think that I think the most important thing here is gonna be using our crunchy chip in the arena. I think this is gonna be funny. Alright, so the team that I talked about, right, is gonna be this, right? Where's our crunchy chip? This right here? I kind of talked about this using this, or you can replace our snow sugar with, you know, someone like clotted cream if you want to. Uh, you can replace pomegranate for clotted cream, but I'm gonna use this team, basically a team that I've been using for a while, but we are replacing clotted cream to now our crunchy chip cookie. And then we're going to be versing this team. I want to see exactly how strong this guy is going to be. Level 70. Level 70. Skill is not level... Oh, no. Is this skill level 70? Oh, it is level 70. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Okie dokie. Zero stars. Zero stars. Man, I'm at 9,000th place now. Uh, Our pumpkin pie got obliterated. But still... God, dude, this guy attacks so fast with all of the buffs happening. That's well, that's kind of wild. Try 13-30 as well as 14-30. Yeah, we'll try it out. But look at all of the buffs he's getting. Attack speed buff from Pon Pon. Attack up from both the Pincushion and Cotton as well. Right? And then he's pushing them away. Holy! He does damage too. With with it being a full solid almond build, he's still, he's still doing a lot of damage. I would say Crunchy Chick has very good potential inside of this comp. This uh, summoner comp. Of course, there's going to be, I think, more like different builds popping up here and there later on. But looking at him right now, he definitely has potential. Because of the fact that he has a debuff as well with this claw mark right there. Preventing, uh, you know, preventing uh, the debuffs or buffs. And then the summoners. <laughs> I lost this one. Dude, all the level 70s are scaring me. I'm going to try using a uh, clotted cream here and use the feather. Okay. Try to see if we could bring back our uh, crunchy chip right here. 
There's so much stuff happening. Wow, 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 wow. That HP. Uh, our crunchy chip is gonna die. He came back. Started riding the wolf again. I think this team is a little bit more stable. Dang, that, that's a lot of damage still. That is a lot of damage. Alright, it's time to promote him then. So, right here, at level 70, 70 skill with 0 star promotion, 150,000, alright? Let's see what happens when we promote him all the way up to 5 stars. But there you go, 180,000. That's a lot. That's a ton. There we go. Let's see how much more damage our Crunchy Chip is going to be able to do. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -bum. I am not using the pin cushion here. One million damage from each. A crunchy chip is strong. Say, right now though, first impression as well as testing, he definitely is strong inside of a summoner comp. Like he takes so much buffs. Like he gets the attack speed buff, he gets the attack buff, he gets all these uh you know summon buff as well as from the scroll. And if you use the scythe, then you can use the scythe buff. So I am guessing right now he's definitely going to be part of a summoner comp meta. I would say you're probably going to have to, you know, use a good summoner comp. Like you're going to at least have to have pumpkin as well as cotton, right? So I would say use him with those two and then pair him up with crunchy. And then the other two, I would say you can just, just use anyone you're going to be like, you know, uh, pomegranate words. I would say Eclair might even work out uh, and things like that. I would try him out in different cons, but as a first impression video right now, I would say he definitely is a strong cookie and, you know, I have a feeling he's going to be working great, not only in the world exploration, but also in the PvP aspect of things right now. Alright, so that's going to conclude the first impression of Crunchy Chip Cookie.